Hey guys, today's my first official Halloween tutorial and I wanted to recreate a 1960s mod look. The makeup trend back then was all about the cut crease, bold liner, and extreme lashes and it paired perfectly with bright rouge on the cheeks and subtle lips. So let's begin this easy transformation. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is start by applying this Benefit 15 Hour Wear face primer and I'm going to apply it all over my face first directly from the tube and then I'm going to go over with this awesome brush that I'm going to use for foundation and blending my concealer as well. This is actually the Sigma Flat Angled Kabuki which is the F88 if I'm not mistaken and I'm just going to blend it all out throughout my face so the foundation sticks nice and perfectly. Alright, so next I'm actually going to mix two different foundations to match my skin color because I figured instead of going out and buying a new color, I'm just going to do what I can with what I have. So I'm using the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous and Soft Honey and the L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Foundation in Classic Tan. So I'm just going to mix that up and this is actually a low Cornell uh, painting brush that I just used to mix it up and apply on my face. And then I'm going back to the Sigma Flat Angled Kabuki uh, brush just to blend that all over my face and I actually really like it because it has a really nice angle which gets into every corner but it also blends out my foundation so fast. Next I'm just going to conceal and also brighten up my face a little bit using this Physicians Formula Super BB Cream uh, or Super BB Concealer which also contains SPF 30 and I'm just going to apply that right where you see it and then I'm also going to go back to the Kabuki F88 from Sigma to blend it all out. So don't be afraid to use powder. Back in the 1960s, the girls literally packed the powder on and they actually uh, prefer the cake foundation instead of like the, you know, natural looking skin. So for this look, I'm just going to go all out and just powder my face like there's no tomorrow. And this is the Airspun um, Loose Face Powder in Translucent. And then I'm just going to dust it all out once it kind of sets into your skin for about five minutes. Then you can just dust it all out. Okay, so here I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows and for my eyebrows, I forgot what I was using. I didn't even record what I was actually using for this, but I mean, if you don't even need to fill in your eyebrows, you don't have to. I'm going to do so because mine are kind of looking a little uh, like they need to be filled in. So I'm just going to fill them in, but I'm also going to do a little bit of concealer um, on the top and bottom of my eyebrows just to kind of clean it up and that way I have a more nice defined brow because that's what I need. Here I'm just going to take an eyelid primer and prime my top eyelid only because I really want to ensure that my eyeshadows do not crease since we are going to be using pretty colorful ones. And next I'm just going to take a really nice creamy pencil eyeliner and I'm just going to cut the crease first and my advice is to make sure you have a really nice creamy one that you can work with and blend. And then here I'm just going on the eyes of the 60s palette from BH Cosmetics which is actually a new palette which inspired this look here. And I'm going to go into this darker deep purple and I'm not going to bring the color past any lower from that line. I'm just going to buff it all upwards just like you're watching me do it here and just gradually pick up a little bit of a color at a time that way you can work with it very easily. So now that I have the basic color down, I'm going to go back with a clean brush to blend it out and that way I can smoke it upwards but not any lower like I said because if not, it's going to defeat the purpose of the cut crease. So next I'm going to go back into the BH Cosmetics palette with a flat shader brush. I'm going to pick up this pink color. Now the first time that I apply it, I am applying it dry just because I want to know exactly where I want this color and it's just going to go on the eyelid below where you cut the crease. And then the second time, I'm actually using mixing medium on my brush and then I'm reapplying this pink color which is just going to intensify it. 
And then here, I'm just going to apply a black cream liner. And I love cream liner because it really gives me a lot of control as to how thin or how thick I want the line. And I'm going to wing it out, but I'm also gonna wing it out at the top. And you just wanna make sure that it's nice and parallel. I'm also cutting the crease slightly on the outer corner of the top um, line that we did first just because I'm also going to use a different brush that is clean just to blend it out and intensify that crease. And then I'm just gonna go back and do a few more touches with the brown um, eyeliner. This is all about just going back and working it until you perfect it or until you feel that it's you know where you want it to be. Here I'm just taking a blending brush and just smoking it out a little bit more because you never know. Next I'm just gonna do a few coats of the Rimmel London Glam Eyes Mascara. This one is an extreme black. You wanna load up your lashes with um, a lot of mascara if you're not going to do false lashes, both on the top and bottom. Here I'm just going to do a little bit of highlight right beneath my eyebrow. And I'm also going to take this moment to blend out the, the top area where I smoked out the liner. Alright, I love lashes so I'm actually going to do lashes. These are the Demi Wispies and I'm just going to take a little bit of glue to the backbone of the lash and then apply it on just like this with tweezers. So now this is my favorite part because I don't do this often, but these are my Twiggy lashes, what I like to call them, because she made them really popular in the 1960s. Now these are individual false lashes and you want to make sure that the ones that you use are for the bottom lash line. So just, uh, they're actually really, really, really easy to apply. Just make sure the glue is nice and tacky and trust me, when you have a little bit of mascara on your real lashes, they're gonna go on perfectly. Anyways, this is the Daisy Blush Duo from BH Cosmetics and the 1960s was also all about flushed pink cheeks, especially they used a lot of rouge, but since I actually added powder, I'm not gonna do a cream on top of this, which is why I'm going for a pink powder blush. And I'm just gonna apply this um, somewhat heavily, more than I usually go for, but hey, that's all about the 1960s. Now for the lips, I'm using the Wet n Wild Think Pink Lipstick, and it's actually too intense and too matchy-matchy, which is why I wiped it off, but I actually really like that. It stained my lips, so right on top of that, I'm using Revlon Super Lustrous in Snow Pink just to gloss it up. They did use a lot of gloss, so don't be afraid to, you know, go a little crazy. And I'm almost done. I'm just going to finish up putting on this lip gloss. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my first Halloween tutorial. This is not a scary one, but I will have a scary one coming up very, very soon. And all the product information is going to be linked down below if you guys have any questions. And I will see you guys in my next Halloween video. Bye!